Hello, my name is Ian Newberg and I'm one of the teachers at LifeFlow and I'll be leading the seven day retreat at Tower Hills called Many Paths, One Journey, uh, being held in late April. So as it's a seven day retreat, it's a rare opportunity for you to get some deep rest and to shed some fatigue and stress that you might be carrying along. And once you do that, you'll have the opportunity to experience this blissful, refreshing state of balance where we have a clear, spacious mind and a, a warm, connected heart and generally being, feeling being pleasant in our body. And our retreat centre at Tara Hills is in a quiet rural environment in the Adelaide Hills. And so there is lots of opportunity for walking in nature and opening up your senses to the sound, smells and uh, sights of nature. And, uh, and if you like, reflect on the topic of the retreat. And that uh, topic is how we use meditation uh, to help us along our spiritual path. Once we've settled in, and which will include some instructions on how we get the most out of retreat, and also some uh, the essential meditation techniques. And by the way, we, we cater for uh, uh, people who are new to meditation, but also those who are very experienced and have done a lot of retreat work. So once we've uh, done that, we'll start discussing what it means to have a spiritual path. I might start out with some definition like this. A spiritual path is a set of practices and lifestyle contained within a knowledge system with the intention to connect and with something greater than oneself, whether that be a higher power, a universal consciousness, or a sense of interconnectedness with all things. And a mark of progress along that spiritual path is growth and wisdom. And wisdom is the ability to recognise the patterns in nature and to live in accordance with them. So we'll start off with something like that. And then uh, it's intentionally general enough to include a wide variety of spiritual traditions, and I fully expect that uh, those who come along will bring their own uh, definitions and tweaks to what spiritual means to them personally. You know, in this uh, day and age, uh, we have so much spiritual information available to us on the internet and, and also our ability to travel around the world. Uh, we, 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 have, we have this freedom to to question the religion of our birth or our culture. And we have the opportunity to shop on this spiritual supermarket, which is great, but it can be quite confusing. And if we're not discerning enough in, uh, in the path we choose, that it really fits our personal situation and our core beliefs and, and uh, um, value system, then um, you can end up going down some unfortunate rabbit holes or just time wasting rabbit holes, let's say. And so you need to be clear about your motivations, core values and core beliefs. So in this retreat, we'll, you know, by discussion, help you get clear about that. And then we'll start examining how, con how um, the understanding of consciousness and spiritual growth in some of the main spiritual paths available to us today in both their traditional and modern forms. And so we'll be looking at Buddhism, uh, Christian mysticism, uh, Advaita Vedanta, and also this thing we're calling a neurodharma, which is the uh, basically the neurological understanding of what's happening when we meditate. Um, and importantly, we will learn how meditation and some other practices uh, derive from these uh, different views can contribute to your spiritual growth. Now, the aim of the retreat isn't to, to try and convince you of any viewpoint, but to help you become clear about uh, what uh, spiritual practice is for you and how meditation and other practices can help you on your way. 
And, and, and in case you're concerned, it's not going to be a heady philosophical class. There is uh, most of your time on retreat will be spent in deep rest, deepening your meditation practice, uh, participating in the gentle yoga uh, sessions, if you like, um, enjoying the natural environment of Tara Hills and, of course, our delicious and nutritious food. So imagine your day on retreat is like a, a, a garland of flowers and each item in the program is one of those flowers along that garland. So the theory and discussion flower is just one short uh, uh, interesting session, well there's actually two a day, uh, to keep your focus on the reason you've come, which is to get clearer about your own spiritual path. If you like, bring a journal along as there'll be an opportunity to uh, to weigh up your own core values and core beliefs and then from there determine what uh, is the nature and direction of your own path. Or you can just come along, just come along for the ride, enjoy the deep rest, the beautiful environment, the excellent food. And uh, just seven days just to uh, just to, just for yourself. So I look forward to meeting you there.